Hello all. So uh, in this video, we'll see how we can embed uh, business intelligence reports to standard or custom objects, sub tabs. So, uh, so for that, first we need to create a few reports, right? Uh, like we'll see those reports. So for that, uh, we should navigate to the BA uh, BA analytics. So where we can create our own reports. So in this particular case, I just uh, I have already created a, a few reports uh, related to uh, to this demo. So I'll just show you that reports, and then before that, I will see uh, the in the UI. So what I'm going to do. So, so we have an object, custom object called product docs. So where I have uh, uh, these records. So if, if I open this report, I should see a sub tab. And in that sub tab, I should see the information for specific to this record. So uh, it should be automatically filter. Uh, it should be dynamically filter uh, against this record. So the, then the information finally I should see, uh, it should be uh, specific to this record, the open record. If I open some other record, I should see the uh, that record information. So that's what like we are going to try. Okay, uh, so uh, this is one uh, re, uh, example for custom objects. So in, in case of a standard object, we'll go, we'll, we'll see for opportunity. So in opportunity, we have activities, right? So we'll see the, uh, we'll see the in information uh, related to activities uh, for a particular opportunity. So it can be uh, um, activities by type or activity by status. So this kind of sample reports we'll see and then um, and uh, then we'll see how to embed those uh, reports into these objects so in in our scenario i'm just i'm taking one custom object and one standard object so that we'll get an idea yeah i opened opportunity and under activities i can see the uh, activities related to this opportunity right so i'm going to create uh, 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 I'm going to create a uh, report based on these activities. So uh, as a sample data, I'll create, uh, so this is one uh, uh, act activity, right? So I'll, I'll create one appointment and then when I'll create a uh, uh, call report and then log it out. So we'll, we'll see all the, all of these. Then we'll create one uh, call report. And one log echo. So we have uh, uh, four activity types, and then uh, I'll create one more um, task. So I'll, I'll, I'll also choose uh, different statuses.
So I have created this uh, sample test data. So uh, we'll we'll open this record again, and uh, we'll also create a sub tab here, and then we'll see the uh, reports here. Okay, now I'm going to the uh, BI Analytics tab. So where I have created a, a sample reports. So uh, I'm opening Opportunity Activities uh, uh, report. So this report I want to embed uh, into this sub tab, right? So yeah. So this is the sample report I created. So uh, there is one bar chart and one pie chart and one table. So uh, currently this report uh, is showing all of the data uh, available in the system uh, for opportunity and activity. So now when I add to a specific record, it should filter automatically and it should give the information only to uh, specific to that record. So uh, for that, uh, uh, first we should uh, create a sandbox and we should activate application composer and page composer. These two tools are required to uh, embed a report, BAA report to the uh, a page, object page. So I'll, I'll go to home. So first, the so step one, we should uh, create a sub tab and uh, in the respective object. And then we should uh, add uh, the BA report uh, using page composer. So now, now I'm going to application composer and then I'm, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll try to add the analytics tab. So we can go to the opportunity object and then pages. Once we go to the pages, we should select the detail page layout. Yeah, uh, we, we, uh, we can see a particular page layout. So there are a lot of uh, page layouts. So we'll default this custom layout uh, to the top so that we'll, we'll, we can change. Uh, we can make the change, we can make changes to this layout. So what I'm doing, I'm just uh, keeping it as first layout so that this will be defaulted when I open a record. Now I'll click on this default custom layout. So now we can see here, uh, so we have uh, uh, inbuilt analytics tabs. So where we can use uh, these tabs for uh, enabling uh, to add any analytics. So I have a few analytics that too, right? So I'll expose one here. So by default, uh, it gave two analytics uh, tabs. So uh, we can't create a new analytics tab like this, but we can we can use these these uh, existing analytics tabs, empty uh, analytics tabs, and then we can add uh, our reports. For custom objects, uh, it will be there will be three uh, inbuilt analytics tabs. So what I did, uh, like I just added analytics tab. So that's all we can do uh, with the application composer. So adding that report to this uh, 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 the, to this sub tab will be done by uh, page composer. So in the same way, 
uh, i'll go to the our custom object also and uh, we'll add same uh, in the same way we'll add uh, we'll add the sub tab in that custom object itself so our object is product talks so where i'm going to the landing uh, where i'm going to the detail pages i have only one detail page layout so i'm going into that detail page and then uh, so since uh, if i want to create a new sub tab i can use this uh, add icon uh, but since this analytics sub tab is already available for us so we don't need to create a new sub tab if we want to create a, a child object sub tab or a related object sub tab or any uh, some common components like notes and change history to add this and for mashup content then only we need uh, to use this create sub tab button so in our case we'll 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 use this uh, hide show or reorder sub tabs uh, button so uh, so if i click on this up arrow and down arrow so i can re rearrange or remodify this as as we see uh, for a custom object we can see three analytics uh, tabs so i'm using one of that i'm exposing only one and that this is also empty sub tab so now my part with the application composer is done now we should go to the uh, we should activate page composer okay and then uh, for adding content uh, so first uh, we have to go to uh, first we'll see opportunity so i'm going to the opportunity object and we'll open any one of the record or whatever like uh, we have we have used a sample record right so we'll we'll go to that so yeah this is the record we open we'll go to this again uh, we'll will add somehow it uh, it didn't uh, activate it so we'll add again then um, we'll go to our analytics tab so now i am in uh, with this page composer i am in add content mode so where i can choose content where I can navigate to such specific content or uh, in case of uh, uh, adding, like we can add uh, reports or uh, any any other things here using add content mode. So once I click add content button here in the sub tab, so I'll get this screen and then we can go to reports and analytics uh, uh, folder so then we have a ba presentation server so where our uh, all the reports custom reports standard reports everything will be available in ba presentation server so once we go to that um so we need to choose whether it's my folders or shared folders so i uh, so i share um, like since if i select in my folder any report in my folder it will be visible only for me so if we if we put that uh, report in shared folder so it can be available for any other users uh, if they have permissions then we should go to the custom folder so i created one custom um, there is one custom folder so in that i created a demo uh, a folder so where i have these two reports uh, opportunity activities report and then uh, the uh, product documents report okay so these two reports i have in shared folder custom demo right so in the same way i came to this this navigation part and then i'm adding my report using this plus 
or add uh, button. So I am adding this report to my page. So, uh, so before uh, adding this, so we want to, we should make sure that we have uh, used the prompted, uh, uh, prompted uh, filter in the report. Then only it will, uh, it will apply. The filter will be applied uh, dynamically. So uh, in my report, what I did, so in the in the filter section, uh, we have I haven't added this uh, opportunity ID uh, uh, prompted. So what we should do is um, we should go to uh, filter. So either it can be from field level or we can use this filter icon, and then we can select opportunity ID, and then operator we should choose is prompted. So if we choose is prompted now, like we can uh, we can make it uh, we can put this uh, opportunity dynamically at at uh, at the runtime of this report. So opportunity will opportunity ID will be provided when running the report, so that uh, we will get the information uh, only specific to this opportunity ID. I save it this report and then I'll uh, I'll go to the uh, the sub tab. So currently uh, we are seeing uh, the total data. So it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not the information specific to this report. So. Um, so if we change anything uh, like after adding this report it, it it may it might not reflect so what we should do we should delete this content again and again we should add if we make any changes further uh, so if i am modifying something in the report so uh, i should just replace this content with the new content So again, I'm adding and uh, I'll see whether it populated automatically. It is not populated. Uh, so I can see here. So I can see different, uh, different uh, opportunity IDs. So, uh, so we'll go to this parameters uh, tab or link. So where we can see so uh, by default um, it is taking the filter not null so it is taking like this um, so what i'll do i'll remove the uh, not null filter Okay, and then uh, I'll I'll keep it opportunity ID filter only. So, and then uh, I'll remove uh, again, again, because uh, then only this parameter will be uh, parameters and the new changes will be reflected. So I'm again removing the content. Then add again. So now we'll see the changes and just dragging it to the bottom so that um, I'll see. Yeah, now you can notice the opportunity ID is same. It means uh, it is defaulted. We can see the activities uh, just we created, right? So, so it is it is working now. So the, all this uh, information is related to this opportunity record.
and we can see the in uh, activities by uh, by type so where we can see uh, like how many activities created uh, how many activity types created more so in this particular case we can see tasks created more and uh, following uh, appointments and then call reports in the same way how many activities uh, completed uh, more so so yeah um so th th this happened because uh, um I'll again uh, to refresh uh, the screen i'll go to sub tab the overview screen and then i'll come back to the analytics tab so how this has happened uh, right so we'll see that in um in the parameters tab okay um so this value is again again went uh so in in this case right so we can add one expression called uh this is the uh, page page flow expression so where we can just replace uh, this so by default when i uh, add add a content when i add a report and if that the report has uh, uh, the uh, uh, that report has this prompted condition right so it, the the uh, page flow condition will be automatically created against that primary key so and if in case it is missed then we can add so after adding this uh, i can change i uh, means i can uh, i can save this report so it again came uh like this now i'll exit this uh, uh page composer mode and if i go to some other uh if i go to some other uh record i'll see uh, i'll see the same kind of report uh for that particular record we have also one document uh, uh path here using session variables for reporting so where we we we, we can see some uh, list of uh, uh, session variables for uh, uh, account contact and then opportunity partner so so in this uh, we can see uh, if we observe like uh, sessions after session scope scope we can see the uh, uh, table table start uh, start name like uh, in in case of a contact we we have hz uh, person profiles right and then customers jca uh, customers jcm customers and then for contacts again hz for opportunity moo of the and for partners jpm partners so these are all uh, the table uh, start names right and after that uh, the common uh, common uh, name is uh, analytics in every uh, parameter and then we have uh, the id of the respective object so for partner partner id for op opportunity opportunity id contact party id for contact contact party id for account customer id so uh, like it, suppose uh, we can try for a few other standard objects in the same format like I, I, in my case i i tried for uh, uh, territories so where i use it session scope for uh, territories it will be mot uh, table name starts with mot and then analytics and then uh, territory id 
so this will be uh, this will give the so if i open a territory record and if i want to uh, uh, create a uh, create some report again as that territory so i can i can use this expression to default uh, or to to uh, filter based on this territory id so for custom objects uh, so when we when we give uh, uh, prompted right so by default it will uh, it will default this expression and even for standard uh, if we use this uh, uh, if we use is prompted link is prompted filter it will default we saw initially but later we uh, after just uh, without we didn't save so it, it it went and then we again added so this is how we can add to standard objects so for custom objects again the procedure is same so we should go to that respective custom object and then we we'll say we we can activate the page composer and navigate to any one of the record so it's not specific we can go to the any any record and then we can uh, choose to modify that particular page layout for that particular object page layout so i open i'll open one of the uh, record i added a uh, analytics tab right? that is appearing here and then i'll click add content i'll go to the same path reports and analytics ba presentation server then custom shared are my folders so this is a shared folder right shared shared folder and then custom folder and then demo then i'll add my prod product docs i'll close so uh, even in this report i have used is prompted so our expectation is it should be defaulted automatically so we don't need to uh, put that expression again so in case if if it is missed so then we can add uh, using the uh, uh, using this uh, custom object format so in ui uh, the report so uh, as an administrator i opened this report so it is coming like this for me for each and every product record so yeah so yeah if you notice uh, in this so i have it filtered that product id 004 and we opened 004 so it 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 filtered accordingly so since i have only uh, one record information so it is showing uh, in the pie chart uh, with one color and if we go to parameters we can see that expression so this is prod docs id and for that it is dynamically passing it is dynamically passing page flow scope ba filter then prod docs underscore c that is the api name of this object and then id of current record so in this format we should give even if something uh, if this is missing so we should give uh, like this i am saving this and i'll exit i'll exit page composer mode even if i open some other record i'll see the information related to this record 007 
it's working okay so this is how we can add to a uh, custom objects so but uh, so one thing we i noticed it that uh, in place of id if i want to filter with some other custom attribute so in that case is it's it's not filtering or it's not giving the value it's not taking the current object a uh, custom object id right? or uh, or any other field other than id and record name so that is a limitation of using this page flow scope for uh, expression and uh, the there are uh, alternatives we'll discuss in the next video thank you